Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2025. This is the part 4 of the memory base question. Myself, Dr. Hrishkar, you can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of GATE Mathematics. In this playlist, you can see the various lectures related to the GATE 2025 Mathematics as well as the other topics related to the various concepts all I have explained with the help of the shortcut tricks. You can see it's, there are 188 videos. If you watch it deeply, definitely you will qualify the exam very well. Moreover, all these lectures are available free of course to everyone. Now, how you can solve this question related to the vector space and your target is to find the dimension of W. It's a very, very simple question. Very simple question. You can solve this problem within the 15 second. But how you can solve this question in the 15 second? If you remember, before the examination, if you watch my this lecture, PYQ of dimension of the vector space, you can solve this question in the 15 second. How? You can see, if you read the statement very carefully, try to understand what is the importance in the statement. Again, I told you this is the memory based question. It may possible that the statement is not exact as I display here. But I, I, I'm providing you the solution which is corresponding to the this one. W the vector space over the R consists of all bounded solution. The most important thing is you have to consider only for the bounded solution. Now you have to find that dimension of this. Can you find the auxiliary equation of this equation? This is m4 2m square plus 1 is 0. So can you find the roots? This is m square plus 1 whole square. So my roots are m is plus minus iota. Fine. Now the roots are in the repetition. So your solution will be, I can write for here, C, y is c1 plus c2x. Fine. Into, sorry, it's a y1 cos x plus c3 plus c4x into sin x. Fine. This is the solution corresponding to the auxiliary equation m is plus minus iota. Now you consider the bounded function. So if I say y1 c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus I can consider the second part c2 sorry c1 plus c3 and c2 cos x plus c4 x sin. In the examination there is no need to write these things. You can do it many calculations the orally way. Now which one corresponds to the bounded? Clearly say cos and sin are bounded but because of this x this is my unbounded function. Fine. This is my unbounded function and the right hand side is my 0. So what does the meaning of this? This implies if you consider only for the bounded solution c2 and c4 both must be 0. Fine. Then only it contains the bounded solution otherwise it will be unbounded. So if c2 and c4 are my 0 then how many arbitrary constants? The arbitrary constants are my only 2 c1 and c3. So the dimension of the problem is my 2 is the right answer of this problem. And you can see that it's a very very simple way you can get your answers in a couple of seconds. The only thing you have to need it is bounded solution. So the corresponding solution bounded is my here. I again recommended you you can watch my this lecture if you not already watched that. You can watch this lecture or this lecture is again with the help of the shortcut tricks. I hope you can like and comment on this video as well and kindly share this video with your friend. I will come up with the next video very soon. Till then, you can share this video with your friend and please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for the watching and look forward to meet you in the next video very soon. Happy learning always.